So, I went to see this movie with my brother earlier. This man wanted a pizza so goddamn bad that we ended up missing the first few minutes of the movie because we were too busy watching the poor movie theater employee cut the mini pizza with a dull knife. Apparently, their budget can't afford a pizza cutter. Anyways. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your BFF Snowy Aria 663 here, right here, right now. And I just got back from seeing, uh... Hang on, I forgot the name of the movie again. Uh, oh, No Hard Feelings. Fun fact, I also forgot the name of the movie when I was buying tickets, so that was awkward. What did I think of the movie? Well, I thought it was kinda, eh. I think a lot of that just comes from the general plot. This movie follows Maddie, who is desperate to get a car so she can work enough to save her house from rich people or whatever. She gets a job from some rich people to date their son to help him break out of his shell. What follows is a quite awkward love story where this 32-year-old woman tries to sleep with this 19-year-old. He clearly doesn't want to hook up with her and his rejections are treated like jokes. Like, haha, let's all laugh at the insecure adult who doesn't know how to flirt properly. It honestly kind of hurt to watch. If the gender roles were reversed here, it would be an entirely different movie. He does just flat out tell her no sometimes and she keeps going. Stop it, that's not funny, that's predatory. Just because he's over 18 does not make him a free meal. Moving on from that, there are also quite a few continuity errors in this film. In one shot, Maddie would be speaking while waving her hands, while in the very next shot, her audio would still be playing, but she wouldn't be moving her mouth or hands. I counted at least five different instances of this happening in the first 20 minutes of the movie. It wasn't a completely awful experience, however. There were a few good jokes that didn't only revolve around sexual innuendos or laughing at someone's expense. I also thought all the actors did a really good job with what they had. Jennifer Lawrence did pretty good as this character. Also, Matthew Broderick is in this movie, and in all honesty, this is the first time I've ever actually seen him act before. He's unbearable in just about everything he's in, but he did alright in this one. I think at the end of the day, this kind of film is just not for me. I can see some people enjoying it, especially if you're a fan of raunchy humor, or if you're just interested in seeing Jennifer Lawrence naked or twerking in front of the camera. I know I don't fit into those categories. I'll be giving this one 4 Funtime Fox Feats out of 10. Thanks so much for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a fun comment. I try to respond to as many as I can. With all that said and done, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, no means no, no matter who is saying it. Bye!